In the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verses 1 through 2, it is written, The Lord appeared to Abraham near the great trees of Mamre, while he was sitting at the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground. This passage introduces us to a divine encounter. Abraham, in his hospitality, welcomes three visitors, not knowing they are messengers from God. This teaches us the importance of hospitality and being open to divine encounters in our daily lives. Continuing in verses 3 through 5, he said, If I have found favor in your eyes, my Lord, do not pass your servant by. Let a little water be brought, and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat, so you can be refreshed and then go on your way, now that you have come to your servant. Very well, they answered, do as you say. Abraham's eagerness to serve these visitors reflects his humility and willingness to serve others. In our lives, we should strive to serve others with the same eagerness and humility, recognizing that in serving others, we are serving God. In verses 6 through 8, we read, So Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah. Quick, he said, get three seals of the finest flour and knead it and bake some bread. Then he ran to the herd and selected a choice tender calf and gave it to a servant who hurried to prepare it. He then brought some curds and milk and the calf that had been prepared and set these before them. While they ate, he stood near them under a tree. Abraham's actions show his dedication and generosity. He offers the best he has to his guests. This teaches us to give our best in all we do, especially in our service to others and to God. Verses 9-12 through 12 state, Where is your wife Sarah? they asked him. There, in the tent, he said. Then one of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah your wife will have a son. Now Sarah was listening at the entrance to the tent which was behind him. Abraham and Sarah were already very old, and Sarah was past the age of childbearing. So Sarah laughed to herself as she thought, After I am worn out and my Lord is old, will I now have this pleasure? This passage reveals God's promise to Abraham and Sarah, a promise that seemed impossible. Sarah's laughter reflects her disbelief, yet it also sets the stage for a miracle. This reminds us that God's promises may seem impossible, but with faith, all things are possible. Finally, in verses 13 through 15, Then the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh and say, Will I really have a child now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she lied and said, I did not laugh. But he said, Yes, you did laugh. This conclusion emphasizes God's omnipotence and the importance of faith. Sarah's initial doubt is met with a reaffirmation of God's power. We are reminded that nothing is too hard for the Lord, and we should trust in His promises, no matter how improbable they may seem.